Hello, uh, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Taekwondo Step by Step. You know, there's a particular tribe in Africa where being a beautiful male is very, very important. So much so that every year they have a festival called Azwa or something like that, where they have a beauty contest for men. And the most beautiful male then is given two beautiful females as his wives. Not bad, hey? So what do you think? Do I qualify? Anyway, while I'm qualifying, let's go now into a demonstration of Tegit Paltang with Master Lee. Ooh. Welcome once again, Master Lee. Hello, everyone. I'm Yi Gu Hyun. Master Lee, have you ever been told that you're handsome, that you're beautiful? Ha 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 ha. Well, Andrew, I prefer to hear things like, he's such a strong person doing his best in life rather than being judged by one's appearance. I think that's the biggest compliment for a man. Now, let's practice Taekwondo with more substance, shall we? I guess Master Lee's right, but I'm blonde and I don't know. Anyway, let's get into today's lesson, shall we? Master Lee! Okay now, as always, we'll warm up with the patterns, the essential tool for actual application. I've told you before that the beginning and ending coexist for each pattern, right? For instance, the first pattern was the beginning of the Taeguk series, and Taeguk Paltang is the end. But there are other patterns in Taekwondo, meaning beginning and endings alternate with the philosophies of each pattern. Let's begin now. Alright, this is where we left off, the Wen Pomzogi Sonalmaki. And what followed was the Apchagi and the subsequent punch to the sternum. Lifting your left leg, you kick his face. And then setting your foot down, you go into an Apgubi. Then you make the punch, you punch his sternum. If you back off from the kick in order to wind up for the punch, you not only waste time, but also may lose your balance. And after the punch, you pull the leg toward you and do the patangzon momtongmaki, like this. Now don't forget, as we learn all of our new moves, that we have to remember all of the ones we did before because if we don't, it's no good. Let's go now into another session of practical applications. It's time to boost your skills to their maximum with practical applications. As we practiced last time, you wouldn't be in trouble if the opponent was hit by your attack. But what would you do next if he avoided it and is about to come in again? Now listen to me carefully, I'll teach you what you can do. You 
first block the opponent's punch with a blocking in the pamsogi. And then after kicking his face, after kicking like this, you try to punch him. But he backs away and comes in for another attack. You can block this with a patangzon, and then spinning around, you can attack him with your elbow. We'll watch it again in actual speed. Taekwondo is very cool, isn't it? And just so that you can make your form very cool, we give you another opportunity right now to revise everything that you did from beginning to the end in today's point. It's now time for free sparring. When the opponent comes in running and does a narechagi on you, what would you do? For one thing, you shouldn't just stand there and get hit, right? Let's see what you can do. <laughs> All right, the opponent will come in with a narechagi. As he sets his foot down, you can attack him with the same method of kicking. Keep in mind, the time factor is really important. Now let's watch it again in actual speed. It's now time for us to move into the world, the wonderful world of self-defense. Taekwondo, real life! Ah, where is everyone? There are heaps of people here before. Uh, oh, here's one coming now! Hi. Hi. Tell me, do you know anything about martial arts or anything like that? No. No? Well, what would you do if somebody grabbed you like this? I don't know. You don't know? Well, would you like us to teach you? Yes. Okay, then, Master Lee. <laughs> when the opponent grabs your shoulders with both hands, you grab his left hand with your right and cross your left arm over his, like this and then you twist his arm while pressing down on his elbow. Okay, you think you can do it? Maybe. Well, now that she's got the hang of it, let's have a little try now in Taekwondo. Real life. I think there's a problem here. Master Lee, what do you think? Well, his wrist isn't tilted as it should be, and she should have grabbed his elbow and not the upper arm. You'll need to practice more. Oh, no! Oh! That's no problem, because next time we can have another try, hey? Anyway, see you guys next time. <laughs> we all like things that are convenient. That's why here on Taekwondo Step by Step, we make it convenient for you. You don't even have to go to a Taekwondo place. You just need to watch us here on Taekwondo Step by Step. And if you do go, then we can help you become even better. That's true. On Taekwondo Step by Step, you can find the most qualified instructors of Taekwondo. That's because Taekwondo is the best. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you next time. Come in.